Hello! I am nervous. It's been such a long time since I've gone live. I'm just like, ah! <laughs> Scary! Yes, I am blonde now. <laughs> we shall test the theory if blondes have more fun. <laughs> um, uh, I hope you had a happy start to your year. I'm just checking and doing my due diligence to make sure that I actually am live because who knows? Oh, yay. I'm live on Facebook. Let's see if I'm live on Twitch. I'm not seeing any of your comments. If any of you have said hello so far, I will check in a moment. Okay, am I live? I am not live on Twitch. What is happening? Why am I not live on Twitch? Oh, I am live. Happiness. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Thank you, Dan. Philip, good evening. Paul, hi. Welcome to the stream. It's so good to have you. It's um, fun to be live again. I've missed you all. Peter, hello. <laughs> Happy New Year, everyone. <laughs> yeah, hello, Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> I'm alive! Yeah, thank you, Victor. Okay, so I bleached my own hair during the break. I also cut it. Thank you, Peter. So I cut it, I bleached it, because I'm, like I've told a few of you already, I am working towards having white hair. Uh, I uh, have been going gray since I was 14, and um, so I'm trying to have white hair and then whatever black hair I have left, my hair is naturally black, these are my eyebrows, <laughs> and um, whatever uh, I grow out will just be shadow root, happiness. Jeff Brigante, hello, thank you, hello Edgar. <laughs> Who's this lady and what has she done with Dawn? <laughs> Larry, I'm so sorry that you're sick. I hope you feel better soon. Take care of yourself. Um, I really, I really hope that you get better quickly. I'm so sorry you have COVID. Weep. Sharif, hello. Okay, so as you guys know, I did not finish all of my Christmas giveaways. I saved them and am gonna work on them over the next two weeks, the top three prizes. All the other prizes, four through, through 10, have been mailed out, everyone has their tracking numbers, some have already arrived, whoop whoop! Um, but the, the top three, which are the bigger commissions, I sketched and inked them during the break. Um, and now I'm going to be working on the coloring with you guys. Eric Davis, Siamak, Scott, hello, Wildstorm, welcome. <laughs> Julie Sosa, thank you, love. Ralphie, hello, it's so good to see you all. I hope you had a wonderful holiday time. Um, I definitely did. Kara, good to see you, love. Steve. <laughs> Thank you, Eric. <laughs> so I'll show you guys the other commissions that I worked on. I actually have all three of them inked. Sabine Wren, I have a couple things I want to make sure are correct before I ink them. So I'm thinking about them. But uh, the other ones are complete. So here is the Lady Death. This is prize number uh, three. So this is an eight and a half by 11. And then here is the Vampirella. This is a 9 by 12 and this one is a Torso Vampirella. So here is the Vampirella one and then let me get the Sabine Wren. She is still on my light table. Dawn, yes, I'm blonde now. <laughs> so here is Sabine Wren. I'm gonna have to just go like this so you guys can see it. Um, so as you can see, I'm still trying to figure out all the gadgets on her uh, little thing on her arm and her hand, how it's holding the helmet, I'm still working on. Um, but anyway, here is where she's at. And for colors, I've decided to go with season three. Uh, the man who won this piece told me that I could um, decide 
which uh, season I'd like to do because her outfit shifts a little bit and her hair color changes for every season. So I'm doing um, season three. Uh, Peter, what do the kids think about your hair? Um, you know, they understand that it's a process, but I think they're, they're pretty okay with it. <laughs> My youngest was not a fan until I started clipping one side back and then he was like, okay, I like it now. <laughs> Uh, Sherlock is staring at me weirdly, so either he wants more food or he's like, who the fuck are you? <laughs> Colin, hello! Matt, Go Matt, yes, Matt Gonzalez, welcome! Johnny, hello, Keeman! Mark Jenkins, happy new year to you too! AJ, George, oh no, it's Jorge, hello! <laughs> Thank you, Colin. So I haven't really planned the coloring for this one. That's why in my going live notice a couple hours ago, I said, maybe gouache, we'll see how I feel. Cause I literally don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> so we shall see. Uh, the hair, oh, thank you, Steve. You know, I'm, I don't recognize myself when I look in the mirror. I've never changed my hair color in my life. So it's weird for me, I'm not gonna lie. I do not like the yellow tones in my hair. The top I'm happy with, I can't get the black out of the bottom and if I bleach it one more time, it's probably all gonna fall out. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to just be patient and wait and bleach in a few weeks because it is fried to shit. <laughs> <laughs> Kick, hello! <laughs> hello, Mr. E, Lim, welcome and happy new year! Yes, Richard, this is live! <laughs> Thank you, Keeman! <laughs> uh, thank you, Eliazar! Alvin, hello from the Philippines. JD, thank you. <laughs> Go with the pale white skin, just a suggestion for Lady Death. Thank you, Tom. <laughs> You're still waiting for Meryl Streep. Oh my God, that's awesome. Yay, thank you, Devin. The yellow tones can be changed with watercolor. Well, you know, now my hair shows paint, <laughs> which is unfortunate. So I was painting, uh, finishing up two of the Divinica pieces and I was working with acrylic and I got black acrylic in my hair and I didn't, uh, I've never noticed that I've gotten paint in my hair before <laughs> because it was black, but now I had to cut my, cut some of my hair off because I got acrylic paint on it. <laughs> Thank you, Richard. <laughs> I know, Sherlock is looking for his slave. <laughs> Labris, hello. Yeah, so I've, I've been learning about toners. JP Roth has already taken this journey before me, so she has been so helpful and such a good friend when I'm just like, oh my God, my hair is fucked. <laughs> so she's been really walking me through it, which is really awesome. I've learned a lot in this journey. Um, I'm gonna get the other two pieces and I'll show you what I've been working on. So I've worked on these ones with you guys uh, a bit, um, but I wasn't happy with the way some parts were looking. So I've kind of painted over Magu um, and I finished her boobies. So that I have to cover with my hand. Hmm, maybe I'll do it on this side. Uh, I don't have dirty fingernails. I've got acrylic paint on my, under my nails. But anyway, here is Magu. So this one's done. I finished it uh, with colored pencil and gouache and acrylic. So there she is, have to cover the boobies. Um, and then, whoops, you didn't see that. <laughs> Terry, thank you. 
There's something different about me. <laughs> True Deadman, hello. I know, I'm such a fail. <laughs> All right, and then I'm also working on the Nokomis. So this has, um, this has a piece of clear uh, frisket on it and I'm working on painting her skin and hair and all of that stuff. Yes, unfortunate nip slip. <laughs> Don't report me, you guys. Have a sense of humor. <laughs> How was my Christmas Boxing Day and New Year? It was great, Philip. Thank you. Peter is my favorite color purple. You know, I think my favorite color is probably um, gray because I'm I'm unfun like that. But I do um, I do like painting with purple. Here we go. She's gonna have some sparkly nippies. That is washi tape. See the sparkles? They're not real nips. Anyway, there we go. Now you guys can actually see it. <laughs> Stefan, hello. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Lore is was gonna be leaving today, Devin. Um, but then Air Canada contacted us and said that the flight was a little bit full and if he would consider taking a different flight. So we moved him to a flight on Thursday, and so he's heading out on Thursday. You could probably feel them like Braille. Oh, <laughs> Yes, <laughs> the nips on Magu were painted with gouache and I did layer them. So yes, you can feel the nips. <laughs> RPG, hello. Yes, Lore is my son. <laughs> I know, I don't think I'm ever gonna get used to this look, Scott. <laughs> Yes, yeah, sparkly nips have been applied for your viewing pleasure. Exactly. Thank you, Steve. Okay, so this Nokomis, I'm going to try to finish up tomorrow. Uh, really, what I'm working on for the next two weeks is getting the Divinica art book uh, finished for the Kickstarter. So I need to finish the layout. I need to make sure that all the other goodies that I'm not telling you are done and ready to go. Uh, my upload day to Stefan, who was just on this stream and who does all of the Rothic uh, designs, is the 15th. So I need to haul ass and get that done. So I won't be arting, really, for the next two weeks. Hence, I will be working on the commissions during live streams. <laughs> You know, we didn't name him after Data's brother, but I did tell the actor that my son's name was Lore, and he's like, is he evil? And I was like, well, he's a teenager, so. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. <laughs> oh, thank you, Harold. How did Lore react to my hair? He, uh... When I picked him up at the airport, granted, my hair was still brown when I picked him up at the airport, and he just walked right past me, didn't recognize me at all. <laughs> so that was fun. Um, will the OA with the arrow become a print? Yes, Julie. So these are all going to, the original art will be available um, as tiers in the Kickstarter. I am going to have 19 pieces. And then there will be prints of them as well in the Kickstarter. So stay tuned for the Kickstarter. Kendall, thank you. Anthony, thank you so much. Okay, BRB. Just have to put that art away. Get some tape. What do you prefer, DC or Marvel? Well, I prefer... I like the Marvel movies, I like the DC movies, I like everybody. As far as characters that I am drawn to, as far as art, I would have to say DC characters, um, just because I like their outfits more. <laughs> like, like Harley's outfits and Wonder Woman and all those. And I've also done work for DC, I have never done work for Marvel. 
Oh, and some are free unlocks, Dan reminded me. Yes. Many of the prints come bundled and then some are free. <laughs> I did. I totally blindsided you. <laughs> Aw, Andreas, hello. Happy New Year. Can't tell because I'm watching on a phone, but did Dawn shave one side of her head? No, I didn't, Paul. I just have it up in a clip. Uh, the reason being is because my hair is too thick to be short like this. I cut it so that I could bleach it easily myself. So I cut it myself as well. <laughs> um, and the thing is, I um, my hair is very thick and I kind of look like a tent with a head at the top when I have my hair all out. It's, it's quite aggressive. And I even cut the back really short, um, like just that long. All behind my ears and my neck is cut really short, but even so, I look like a tent. <laughs> oh, Dustin, yes, I went blonde. <laughs> I flocked my hair, <laughs> yes. For your cosplays, oh my god. <laughs> my hair seems to be getting thinner the longer it gets. Well, it, it appears that way, Paul. That's how, it, um, that's how it goes. The longer your hair is, the thinner it looks. Um, but I'm sure it's not getting thinner. Your hair is very thick. I have seen the photos. You have a decent amount. <laughs> Jason Hearn, Happy New Year! Okay, it is time for the stretching of the board. So I'm putting down my tape. <laughs> Thank you, Terry. Hello, George. Welcome to the stream. It's so nice to have you all here. Rob, hello, hello. <laughs> Thank you, Andreas. He's actually broken combs. Wow. Okay, more taping. I tape it down onto my pants first to pick up a little bit of lint, which is fantastic. I have a cat, much lint. Aw, thank you, what the fan art. That means a lot. It's literally to, to not look like a tent, but if it looks good, yay. <laughs> Slayer, hello and welcome to the stream. Happy New Year. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> yes. Good point, Devin. Sherlock would get pissed. Okay, almost done here. Oh, Kara, I'm so sorry about your Christmas. Weep. Oh, yay, David. That's so cool. Thank you. <laughs> you always think I'm going to drop an F-bomb, Paul. Aw. Thank you, Eric Davis. You are so awesome. Yay. Zico. Happy New Year. Welcome to the stream. 
He did not recognize me, uh, Charlie. Um, I, at least he's giving me some very weird stares right now. So I have a feeling it's going to take him a little while to get used to it. Oh yeah, Brandy usually comes on a little bit later, babe. <laughs> Who were my inspirations as an artist? J. Scott Campbell, E. Bass, Eric Basaldua, uh, Mark Silvestri, Mike Turner, uh, Joe Benitez. <laughs> I got you all confused, Ron. I know, I am not really a hair changer. Um, some people are and they change their hair frequently. Um, I never have because um, I'm afraid of bleach. But I, I need to do this as a process in going white. It's going to be a lot easier as far as upkeep. They always say blonde is a lot more difficult to upkeep. But in my current situation where 90% of my hair is white, um, it should be easier fingers crossed, but getting black dye out of one's hair is a bitch, man. <laughs> Standard 90s greats, that's right. I miss you too, Jeff. Tim Harris, Happy New Year. I wander off in a forced trance. Bye, Dawn. I love Brandy now. <laughs> Oh my God, you love Brandy. Dan's leaving me for Brandy and her cookies. That's okay, I love Brandy, she's the best. <laughs> Juan, hello. Russell Allen, happy new year to you too. So much love, it's so great to have you all here. Thank you for joining. Oh, Kara mind tricked you? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Poor everyone. You guys, I didn't do it on purpose, but Dawn is okay with it. <laughs> yes, I'm okay with it. <laughs> Any new big projects coming up? Yes, Ron. I am working on the Divinica art book right now. So we are doing all the final putting together of the book and all the prizes that there will be. And there are a lot. So I'm working on that. Then I'm working on another Zenoscope uh, cyberpunk cover. Um, and then hopefully I'm going to start working on Divinica issue six interiors because I'm a fail and I need to get going. Uh, Nick, oh, thank you. Patrick, thank you so much. Um, when am I going to keep my eyebrows dark even when you go full white? Yes, I plan to, Nick, because um, I like the shadow root is what it's called, where you've got a little bit of darker hair grow out, and then I think my eyebrows won't look so buzzard-ish. I know right now my eyebrows are a little bit jolting. <laughs> Every time I look in the mirror, I'm like, fuck, eyebrows! <laughs> it's all I see. Um, but hopefully, when I have a little bit of grow out of my natural hair color interspersed with white, it should calm down the aggressive buzzard look I'm rocking right now. <laughs> I did not get anything from you, Juan. Soon though, <laughs> they're dramatic brows, yes. I can raise my eyebrows at you guys and you'll really notice them. <laughs> Your girlfriend is fussing because she's missing you so I'm recording, aw, that's so sweet. Well, Jeff, my Facebook page has it recorded already, so you, you can just go back if you want, and then you don't have to record it. Robert Sean, hello! David Ray, hi, welcome, and happy new year! <laughs> Aggressive buzzards are tice. <laughs> that is so awesome, Ron, thank you so much. What 
do you see? What did Mr. E say? Remind you of pink. Oh, yay. I'm cool with that. <laughs> I'm going to give Amelia Clark a run for her money. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I have not painted at all. Um, but, you know, I'm really not sure what I'm going to do with Lady Death. I was thinking about gouache for the background. I'm going to paint her hair with gouache or white acrylic for sure. So I don't have to worry about getting any background tones on her hair because I'm going to paint over it. How was your boxing day? Did you get what you wanted? Peter, you're not going to believe this, but I did no shopping. I, I did some window shopping and then got back to work. <laughs> <laughs> and then watch some TV with the kids. <laughs> it's true. I'm going to be dipping my, my head into paint all the time, I'm sure. Fluffle Pimp, hello, happy new year. Welcome to the stream. Peter, what did you do during the holidays? Did you have a good time? Paint and I'll watch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I can paint at the end of the stream. <laughs> no art supplies yet, not yet. I'm, uh, I did buy those acrylics uh, before the break, um, but I, um, I'm going to be purchasing a whole bunch of stuff before I start uh, working on Divinica 6. These are kind of the last pieces of um, <clears throat> traditional painting that I'm going to do until uh, I start on Divinica 6. So hopefully I can make everything last. Oh, you're so sweet, Jeff. 40 hours. My God. <laughs> Oh, that's so awesome, Patrick. Okay. I know that I want this to be sheer. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and start working on her skin um, now. And so I do still uh, paint Lady Death, not paint Lady Death. I color Lady Death's skin with Copic markers because it is the perfect um, blue-gray. And it works really well for Lady Death's skin, so I always use this. Zoom with the family, played hide and seek with the grandkids. Aw, Peter, that's so awesome. <laughs> Dawn with pink and blue pigtails. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Reed, hello. I'm so glad you got it, Daniel. I know that the the post has been incredibly slow lately. So um, I'm really sorry that you had to wait that long. Thank you, Anthony. Happy New Year. Oh, Reed, thank you. I really appreciate that. I'm so glad you liked the other art book. And I'm working on yet another art book right now, and it's all Divinica pieces. Worth the wait. Yay! Eric, hello! Been trying to relax, but still had to stay a little busy in my art studio. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> oh no, Steve. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You burnt dinner. That sucks. See you later, Dan. Love you. Van Helsing, Happy New Year! Oh, wow, congratulations! New baby on the way! <laughs> ben 
Cross. Happy New Year to you too, and thank you so much. Oh, <laughs> Ergo Josh, hello, thank you. Really appreciate it. <laughs> it's a process. I'm still working on it, but thank you so much. It's great to see you. Happy New Year. I hope you had a wonderful holiday time. <laughs> thank you, Gian. The Art of Mix. Hi, welcome to the stream. <laughs> Well, I kind of look like it, like um, acid banana right now is sort of the, the color I've coined my hair. <laughs> we're going for Snow White, but we're going to have to rock the acid banana for a little while. I received my ancient books. Oh, Julie, you're so sweet. That is awesome. And I will be more than happy to sign them for you at a con. <laughs> the silver hair. It's acid banana still, Steve. When we, when we get the silver hair, we can really mark that date too. Today is the first launch of acid banana. <laughs> Acid banana swords and acid banana guns. <laughs> I know I love watching Ergo Josh on, on YouTube. He's so awesome. I sat through, I don't know if Ergo Josh is still in here, but I watched through the entirety of your, your home tour as well. It was awesome. <laughs> I know one. See, that's the plan. I will distract you all from my banana guns because of my acid banana hair. <laughs> oh, so excellent. Hopefully it does distract you from any errors in my art. Because <laughs> my hair is just a serious what the fuck just happened. <laughs> Ed Long, hello, thank you. <laughs> is that a color it should be Steve I think that would be fantastic <laughs> oh no I'm at 238 damn Do blondes have more fun? John, I'm really trying to test that theory. I haven't really gotten to where I'm comfortable being a blonde yet, but I will, I will let you know. We're doing this for science after all. <laughs> oh, that's excellent, Devin. So now I feel even more artsy with my acid banana hair. <laughs> Oh my God. I feel like my marker is getting a little bit empty. These are their rookie numbers. I am not 
I, as you guys know, I love Lady Death. I draw Lady Death all the time, but I will never cosplay Lady Death. That is too little clothes for me. <laughs> Happy New Year to you too, Philip. We just, I just finished the last two Twizzler pieces yesterday. So they lasted a very long time. I put the jar downstairs and it was eaten all throughout Christmas. <laughs> Catastrophic blend, hello, welcome to the stream. Happy New Year. Shane, you missed the session. Aw, oh, thank you so much. It's great to be back. I missed you guys. Dave, hello. Happy New Year. All right, I need to do a refill here. Any more cookies left? No, we finished them all. <laughs> uh, at what age did I discover that I'm an artist? That's an interesting question. I, um, I think that everybody is, you know, all little kids do drawing at some point, even if it's just for school projects. And the thing that makes you an artist really is that you just keep doing it and you enjoy it. Um, so I don't really have an answer to that. <laughs> is the forest lord, uh, you know what he'll be filling it with, Philip? Protein powder or maybe some eggs or some those um what are those called those like little beef jerky things or something like that <laughs> we're back in healthy food okay i need to find something so momentary pause oh my goodness okay i need cool gray zero zero <laughs> oh, thank you, Dave Merritt. We did. I hope you did as well. <sighs> okay, there we go. Finally, nice and full. and a little bit too full. Retro Detox, hello! Stanley, Happy New Year! <laughs> oh, really? I need to check that out, Devin. Thank you. Your dog family and you did. Aw, that's so good to hear. Chris Lord, hello! Happy New Year! But music was always second nature. That's true, Eric. Absolutely. Sometimes it's about finding the right art for you. Stormy, hello. I was hoping that you would make it to this stream. I'm really sorry that I haven't sent you the scan yet. I actually have it on my to-do list from yesterday to send you and your husband the scan of this so that you could see your lady death piece and where it's at. Uh, I failed, clearly, as you can see. But I hope you're happy with it. <laughs> thank you, Retro Detox, and thank you, Stormy. It's a process. Right now I'm rocking the acid banana look, but hopefully over the next few months I will get it to the icy white I'm trying to have. Thank you, 
you, Robin. <laughs> and L Lana, thank you as well. <laughs> Do you like bananas? Hello, Blues Boy. Happy New Year. <laughs> Thank you, Stanley. So I'm still using Cool Gray Double Zero. It's the lightest color that uh, Copic makes in this range of tones. Um, and I'm using it just to um, get the, the starter shades going. I will, in, in a bit, I'll switch to another darker tone, um, but this just helps me kind of, it's, it's a way that I can, I can plan out shadows and it's not, not too dark, right? <laughs> hello, Daniel. Carmen, hello, hello. Thank you. So filling big spaces with Copic marker is kind of the hardest thing. And watercolor paper is extremely absorbent, which I know is like I'm being Captain Obvious right now. But um, it does make coloring with a Copic marker on this big of a space on watercolor paper quite the challenge. So it is going to take me a little while to get uh, the tones the way that I want them. But I am kind of going for a moody piece here. Even though Lady Death looks all kind of sweet right now, she's not at the end. We're gonna, we're gonna badass it a little bit. Give it a little bit more edge. Thank you, Blues Boy. Happy New Year to you too. I'm just giving her, you know, more pronounced cheekbones, a sharper nose. All of those things are going to now make Lady Death look like Lady Death. Simple lines with like no, no edge to it, you know? There's no chiseled cheekbones and smoky eyes. It, it kind of loses the Lady Death look, right? But I keep my lines pretty light because too much inking on a watercolor or painted piece like this gets in my way when I start painting and coloring it. So I really just keep my lines in commissions like these, super basic. Um, and then I can, cause I'm gonna take care of like the lion's share of making this piece look how I intend for it to look in the coloring. So I'm just kind of staying out of my own way um, and that's why right now it looks kind of simple or, yeah, it just, it, it is not representative of what I have planned. Let's put it that way. <laughs> Ocean Wavy, hello. Okay, I'm using cool gray number two for anybody who is keeping track of that and wants to know. Oh, 
Jason, did you did you hear what I said? Or do you mean what marker as far as like what brand? I'm using Copic markers right now. <laughs> Aw, thanks, Blues Boy. So I'm fine if I'm going over the lines and kind of getting some marker bleed into Lady Death's hair, for instance. I don't care because I'm going to be um, probably painting over all of her hair with acrylic paint or gouache, both of which are opaque. So I, I'm going to have a lot of flexibility with her hair and I'm going to do that at the very end because I want the background to be a dark tone of some kind. I want it to be moody, kind of looking like a real grunged up wall behind her or something. So um, I, I'm not worrying about her hair at all because I'm just going to paint on top of it as the last step. Cool grade number one. And big poofy lips like Lady Death has will have a decent shadow underneath them. So right now, obviously her lips are blank um, because again, lips are something I'm gonna have to do towards the end as well. I need to make sure that I am fully finished with her skin tone before I touch her face with dark red, which is generally Lady Death's standard lip tone. Or if I am like, oh shoot, I need to fix something, the Copic marker is wonderful and it does its job of blending so very well, but sometimes you can blend a color you don't want blended and you have to be so careful with red or you'll just pull a red smudge right across her face. So I'm really careful to start from light to dark with Copic marker and only put you know, start with the lightest thing on the page. Usually I start with the skin and then I work darker and darker. And then because her hair is gonna be painted with white opaque paint, I can put that on top. Otherwise I would also be very careful with her hair and leave it. Okay, now I'm doing cool gray number zero. Just make sure I'm blending out her skin tones because here is where the light is hitting her face. Then under here is going to be quite a bit darker. So we're just going to save time and go with number two. So I'm using cool gray number two right now. And I've just sort of decided that the light is coming kind of right on an angle on her face. So the light is hitting her like this. And a little bit from above, which means that, you know, her lips are casting a shadow, her hair is casting a shadow, her brow bone will most certainly be casting a shadow, but I'm gonna give her a bunch of dark makeup momentarily. <laughs> Jason Longstreet, hello. Yes, I did change my hair. <laughs> and I figured I would just sneak attack you all. <laughs> Thank 
you, Miguel. Just checking if the screen is a little dark. That seems fine. Okay. <laughs> I did. I snuck up <laughs> four streams alerts and 14 social media posts. When? I did not. Stuart, hello. <laughs> We're in lockdown too. We can have a lockdown fist bump. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. <laughs> oh, thank you, Juan. So we're in lockdown and I kind of lost patience and realized that Honestly, I'm really okay with my hair being fried and destroyed. Um, I would rather have it fried and get this finished than um, go slowly and try to preserve my hair. Uh, hair grows back, at least mine does, very quickly, in general. I mean, you know, who knows? Maybe bleaching it is gonna completely change the way my hair is, but my hair grows really fucking fast. So I'm not really too worried about it. As such, fry it, <laughs> cut it. <laughs> I don't care. I just have no patience. So we're going with the impatient dawn mode and I bleached it to death. Oh, thank you, John. Well, you're more than welcome to, uh, draw along while I'm working on this. Um, I live stream three times a week and you're always welcome. Buzz cut. No, I'm not going to do the bu buzz cut. <laughs> I have my limits, Rob. And I think I, my limit is, is before buzz cut. <laughs> I'm sure you could, Lana. I have said, I hope I'm saying your name correctly, but like my, I've always shied away from having blonde hair and I've just really strongly associated myself as a brunette only because my eyebrows are so freaking dark. So this is a little weird for me. I've, I've, I've always sworn I couldn't pull it off. In my opinion, I still can't pull it off, but I'm waiting until my hair is like that white gray, icy white. And hopefully once I have a little bit of a shadow root <laughs> to anyone who understands what I'm talking about, then hopefully my hair and eyebrows will match. Otherwise, it's very jarring for me. Yes. <laughs> Mil Milan, or is it Mel? Milan the she? I hope I'm saying your name correctly. Yes, toner is a lifesaver. I've used a few so far to try to cancel out the the acid banana that I'm rocking. Um, I still haven't been able to get it perfectly. I went for the, the typical T18. That one worked pretty good, but I still have yellow. It's because my hair is uneven. I'm trying to bleach out many, many years of black dye. So it's, you know, my the top of my hair worked out fine, but anywhere where there's like many deposits of black hair dye, I've got this yellow. Um, so I'm doing the best I can. <laughs> you like the contrast? Yay. <laughs> Buzz cut wasn't the limit for you. Yes. <laughs> Pretty much, Mr. E. I have very, very little patience and I could not, could not wait. So I just kind of did it myself.
I will be ready for the first cons. Yeah, I mean, it would be great if there were some cons in 2021. I guess we'll have to see. Jonathan, thank you. <laughs> Yay, Eric Davis. You guys are so sweet. Thank you so much for being so kind and supportive, even if it's just a little weird. I'll admit it's a little weird. Um, and I don't expect any of you to give two shits about my hair color. For me, this is a monumentous occasion. <laughs> However, for you, I get it's just another Tuesday. So, you know, <laughs> you can tell me to shut up whenever you wish. <laughs> I'm sorry for making you burn your dinner. I ended up being the hairstylist, Jonathan, uh, Jonathan. So yes, it took me many hours. I was quite thoroughly tripped off during the break and I worked on it a lot. <laughs> Aw, you're so sweet, Juan. So much love to you. <laughs> oh my God. God, mystery. <laughs> I feel like this is warm. Why is it warm? TV, hello. Okay, something is, is wrong with my cool gray number <clears throat> zero. It looks warm to me and I'm not sure why. So this is gonna be a tricky part to get her boobs to look right in this big A space to cover. It's a lot of space for me to cover. Oh, thank you, Dustin. You're still waiting for the white. I know, me too. Michael, hello from Scotland. So great to have you here. Happy New Year. Oh, Paul, 
Uh, you just gotta give it a minute. Right now she does because it's, she's against white paper, but once I put the dark background in and put in all the, the black of her outfit and her red lips, she'll look very pale. It's just because it's the only thing on the paper right now. <laughs> it's your voice anyway. It's also my F-bombs, Hanusol. Thank you, Daniel. Christmas, Happy New Year, welcome to the stream. <clears throat> Losing my voice already. <laughs> That's right. <clears throat> but thank you, Adam. Yes, I kind of got frustrated with my grow out and was like, fuck it, I'm cutting it and bleaching it myself. God damn it. There are the F-bombs. Oh yes, absolutely. <laughs> Henry, happy new year to you too. Okay, I need to refill this quickly. What am I using right now? Cool gray number zero. Hold please. Jordan, thank you. Welcome to the stream today. Okay. Next stream I will be sporting Jessica Rabbit Red. How? With my hair? <laughs> it's the way we roll Hanusol. We would have it no other way, right? <laughs> Thank you, Doug. This is Lady Death, yes. What is Dan cooking for dinner? Ah, um, this, this time we've got a few more meals that we actually bought for during the holidays, but we didn't get around to them. So we're having um, tortellini that we got at Costco. It looks so yummy. So we're having that today. I'm so excited. And it's really nice and easy for Dan to cook. So I'm happy about that. Just mucho happiness all around. <laughs> Seriously, yes. Are you having dinner right now, Adam? <clears throat> it's probably gonna take me a while to get used to talking for this long. I've been quiet a lot lately. <laughs> Happy 
Have I used paint brushes with refill inks? I have, yes. Is this, yeah, this is for a commission, Jordan. But whenever I do a commission of Lady Death, um, I always send a scan to Coffin Comics in case they want it. It's entirely up to them if they want to use it, but I always send it their way. Oh, Lana, thank you. It's so great to have you here. All right, I'm going to be putting a few darker tones on here too. Oh, that sounds so delicious, Hanu Soul. Uh, yeah, I've been kind of going between cool gray double zero to two so far, but I'm going to add number three into my situation. Uh, if I can find it. That's weird. Where's cool gray number three? I have lost a marker. Oh, there it is. Aha. I had it in with my purples. That's random. And like I told you guys a little bit earlier, I don't mind that um, I'm getting Copic marker into her hair. It doesn't matter because I'm going to be, uh, the finishing touch of this piece is gonna be painting over her hair with um, either white acrylic paint or white gouache. I have not decided, possibly even both, because I'm running out of gouache. I have barely any left. So anyway, I'm gonna be doing that. And so it doesn't really matter if I get shit in her hair. Are you serious, Adam? That means so much. <laughs> Does, yeah, you know, it would, you would think, right, Philip? <laughs> <clears throat> Did not, not. Hi, Eric Galactic Fox. The three really adds depth. Yay, thank you. Yes, that is definitely the plan is to use some of the darker shades to bring in some of that, the, um, the shadows really makes a difference.
Yeah, when will I do that? You know, Steve, I don't know. I, I plan to do that before I start painting Lady Death. I'm not Lady Death. I'm working on Lady Death right now. Before I start painting Divinica issue six. However, it really depends. I'm getting so close to not being able to finish what I have to paint right now because I'm out of certain colors. So I may have to break my own rule and go do some shopping. And if I do, yes, Dan will film it. <laughs> Fair enough, Honor Soul. <laughs> I've switched back to two, uh, number two here. I know you did, Steve, but I haven't given myself that permission. It was very kind of you to give me the permission. <laughs> Thank you, Matthew. I know it's, it's weird for me. I don't recognize myself when I look in the mirror. It's a big change, but thank you. <laughs> Tokiate, hello, thank you. Welcome to the stream, happy new year. Before I paint it, huh, <laughs> thank you, Adam. Sometimes the Copic marker looks a little splotchy, like it doesn't, it doesn't evenly absorb into the paper, which is a little bit annoying for me, I'm not going to lie. Oh, my head's making a shadow, isn't it? Wolf. Oh, really tall. I'm so glad that you're here. I'm working on your piece now. I was telling Stormy um, on Facebook that I'm really sorry. I um, had every intention of sending you an email with a um, scan. And I, as you can see, I haven't. I failed. But I will send you a scan soon and I'm working on it. <laughs> Yay! I'm so glad. I hope you like it in the end. I didn't see Wonder Woman 1984 yet. I really wanted to. Some of the bad reviews have made me sad, um, but I really like Gal and I probably will watch it. It's just we were watching movies with the kids and I could not interest anyone else in watching it, so I'm probably going to have to watch it on my own at some point. Oh, it did? Aw, well that's sad. Yeah, I mean, I saw a lot of people, like, 
people who usually like DC movies saying they didn't like it. And that was a little bit shocking to me. You know, I was ex like friends of mine or just people I follow online that I expected to just be all over that with happiness and love were not. And I'm like, oh man, but I still have to watch it just because I love Gal. Yannick, hello and welcome to the stream. Happy New Year. Interesting. So those of you that have seen it here were not super into it. Oh, okay. Well, that's good to hear, Matthew. Yeah, she is amazing as Wonder Woman. Oh, interesting. Oh, Carlos, hello. Welcome to the stream and Happy New Year. Okay, so I've been using cool gray number one. I'm gonna switch to cool gray number two and just get a few more shadows going on. You've seen the movie twice, it's not perfect, but I still enjoyed it. Well, I'm pretty easy to please when it comes to comic book movies, so I think I'm probably gonna like it just fine. I just need to take some time and watch it. Corey, hello! Welcome to the stream! Happy New Year! I did scan it, Adam. Thank you! I'm so glad you like it. <laughs> There always needs to be the boob shadow. All right. 
right. <laughs> Boob shadow is essential, my friends. I'm using, uh, yeah, so that was number three, Jason. Right now I am using Copic markers um, because it's the skin tone that really works with Lady Death. Um, and then I have my Copic refill. So that's when I stop and add more ink to it, I can refill these, which is really, really wonderful. Okay, I want to start putting some of the like eyeshadow and things that make her look like Lady Death because this is very jarring to me with no Lady Deathness happening. So I really like giving Lady Death dramatic makeup. To me, it's just, it works with her. So um, I'm going to give her some, I also put a little bit of purple into her skin tone. So I'm going to do that as well. And I kind of do that along with the makeup. So I'm going to use some of the light purple tones and I just use the lightest ones and it just gives a little bit of life to her very pale dead lady death skin. It's hard to get past the blonde. <laughs> Sorry, Jeremy. All right, um, so I use blue violet triple or quadruple zero. I thought it felt like a bad comic script that was tweaked. The music didn't embrace the 80s. The return of Streve was sketchy. Oh, interesting. Yeah, see, that's <clears throat> your opinion, Wayne, um, is what I've read from a lot of people. Oh, well, it's fine, Jeremy. <laughs> it's a bit of a shock. Interesting. So right now I'm playing it safe and I'm doing B four zeros, BV. And it just brings a little bit of warmth into her face and it's nice because it's light. So I can pull it in more into places where like I just don't even have a light enough marker for her skin tone. So it's very handy. And I kind of use this purple in places that would normally have a little bit more of a reddish or rouge tone to it. You know, usually your ears are a little bit more red, your nose is a little bit more red, and when you're painting, you add those tones into the color. Um, for, for someone like Lady Death, who is very strictly white, gray tones, um, I use a little bit of purple, and it seems to work out nicely. I also do that for Harley is I'll use this purple a lot. <laughs> purple and blues are what they use for the skin color on Lady Death, yeah. So I'm just warming her up a little bit. Van Helsing, um, he, he's, um, I, I'm not entirely sure. He, he's very tough on a lot of those kind of movies. Like what my son watches is like, you know, art house kind of movies. I don't even know. They're, they're like too boring for me to even listen to the title. <laughs> Oh, yay, Jeremy. Okay, now I'm switching to BV triple zero to bring in a little bit more uh, depth into the shadow parts right here by her cheekbone. We're going to give her 
a nice Lady Death-esque chiseled cheekbone. You can warm her up. <laughs> Sorry, Van Helsing. I know that um, he he's part of a whole, like, movie watching community something or other, but it all goes completely over my head. <laughs> Oh, Hanu Soul is also offering to warm her up. You guys are so helpful. Thank you. Oh, okay, Jeremy. Um, as far as getting marker sets, I have always purchased them at conventions. So, um, you can look, Michaels will sometimes have them. Um, and the nice thing about Michaels is that they have coupons because Copic markers are quite expensive. But please bear in mind that Copic markers are refillable, so their initial purchase is quite a gut punch. However, they last forever. So one, one marker, you know, as you've seen, I've had to refill my marker a fair few times. However, the refill jar lasts me years and I really use them. So, you know, it can be a little bit of a sticker shock, but then just remember that as long as you can uh, get them refilled, it's not as expensive as it seems initially. <clears throat> <sighs> yeah, Zian, um, that is a good point. I was running out of markers quite bad because there was a stage there where Copic wasn't at conventions and um, they were out of a lot of the refills and stuff. A friend of mine who's on Twitch a lot was on a business trip in Japan and he picked me up the markers and refills that I needed. He saved my ass. So I'm good for now. Um, also, I go to a local art store here in Calgary called Kensington Art Supplies, and they do carry Copic markers. Not all the ones that I use, but they carry enough that um, if I'm really low on something, they, they can generally uh, get it for me if I, you know, if I can wait. <laughs> That is right, Tokiapi. Tokiape, I, I can't remember if I'm saying that uh, correctly. Oh, muchas gracias, Pablo. Would I consider doing a lady death on your Hellcat? I'm so sorry, Jeremy. I am not taking any commissions right now. For the foreseeable future, unfortunately, I'm very behind on my wait list at the moment. <clears throat> <laughs> I'm not good at waiting. No, no. I, no, I used to, I could speak some Polish. I started learning German, didn't get very far. Um, I also could speak a passable amount of Russian. Um, Spanish I spoke, spoke a little bit better. Um, but yeah, I don't remember anything though. Oh, thank you, Van Helsing. I really appreciate it. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, yeah, that's true. I mean, Blick Art does have it. It's just, it's a little harder to get Blick Art stuff here in uh, Canada TV. The shipping to here is a little bit intense. <laughs> Deja vu regarding languages, yeah. <laughs> Are you the same? Oh, Catwoman is already on her way. Thank you, Van Helsing. Oh my God. Yeah, my new Catwoman print is out. I'm so excited. Oh 
Oh, I've seen that one, Adam. It is hilarious. <clears throat> Yannick, I am using Arches Hot Press watercolor paper right now. Okay, so I'm just doing a little bit of a purple undertone, but I'm gonna start moving into the reds. Though maybe Lady Death with purple would be kind of a fun thing to do. I saw that, Devin. Thank you so much for your order. That meant a ton. The great grandchildren may have to fulfill Don's current commission list. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, you like the Sherbucks? Yay! Yes, Catwoman is on my store right now. No, I have watercolor uh, pencils as well. These ones are not. These are the more wax-based ones. Oh, yay, Mr. E. Yeah, I'll keep you guys updated uh, as far as the um, the Kickstarter goes, for sure. Wit, hello! Oh my God, Dan updated Moobot with the pro with the print of the month. Ah. <laughs> hello, Vampy Batty. <laughs> I know, <laughs> I am a little bit of a weird blonde. <laughs> Are you serious, Devin? That's so great. Thank you. You didn't do that for real, right, Steve? It's just like coincidence, yes? Please? Do you get Sherbucks for the Kickstarter? Oh man, I'm so sorry, but they, uh, the Sherbucks is like a, a, we called it Sherbucks, but it's connected to an app that's connected to my site. The Kickstarter thing is separate. I'm very sorry about that. I can ask Dan, but I don't think it'll be possible. In all fairness to blondes, you were a bit of a weird brunette also. <laughs> wow, Haru Soul. So now you tell me, huh? <laughs> oh, Steve, thank you. Jose, thank you. I didn't think so it was worth checking. Oh, well, thank you, really tall. I'm sorry. It's kind of tough when things are all on their own platforms and shit, but we've got to got to do Kickstarter through the Kickstarter. They do say blondes have more fun. We shall test the theory. Thank you, Steve. Ted, hello, welcome to the stream. One banana too far, thank you. I am, uh, since you are studying hair right now, uh, I want you to be aware that I have had 10, no, 
26 years of black dye. Obviously, this part hasn't been dyed black for 26 years, but I have been dyeing my hair black. So getting the black out of my hair has been a challenge, and these parts right now won't budge. If I bleach it again, I will probably have a chemical cut, so I'm waiting. <laughs> And then smack Dan when he has more fun with me. Lol. I had no idea wit. That is crazy. <laughs> oh, okay, one banana. <laughs> That's hilarious. Way for me to completely misunderstand what you were talking about. <laughs> True mystery. We'll have to see how that goes. So again, I'm not worried about that hair strand right there. This one, because I'm gonna paint over with acrylic, so it doesn't matter. Now, that is true, Philip, a positive. Dan can't say I look like Michael Jackson. <laughs> I did, I had a blonde moment. There will be many of them now. Unfortunately. Yeah, I know. It's it's such a whole thing to to get out the dark hair color. Man, I am struggling with it. Here we go. She's starting to get that Lady Death look that we wanted. No, Sherlock will be staying his beautiful gray. Travis, hello, welcome to the stream. That's hilarious, what the fan art. There we go. Now I'm gonna try a darker, let's see how this goes. I might need to go a little bit darker than this. Yes, I do, too light. How is Sherlock? He's doing so much better. He was not feeling well during the um, during the break. He was kind of sick. I uh, had to take him to the vet. Uh, he's been on some medication. But thankfully, as of this morning, he seems to be doing so much better. So that is a massive relief. <laughs> Absolutely, Steve. Hello, JC, welcome to the stream. And happy new year. <laughs> That's right, Zian. It's precisely when I meant to. I know, he's doing better. He was working on a fur ball, was having some troubles.
There we go. Happiness. I like Lady Death with some really intense eye makeup. It's just, I don't know. For me, it just works. It makes me so happy when Lady Death has just like, once her smoky eye is in, I can, I can relax. So I'm feeling good about that. Um, and then for her eyes, I'm going to go ahead and work on those now too. I'm kind of exploring a different approach to Lady Death, Death's eyes. So um, I make the, the whites of her eyes a little darker gray. And of course, because Lady Death has no pupil or anything like that, I leave the pupil white. <laughs> Uh, so will this be a print in the, no, that with Lady Death, the way that it works, I don't make Lady Death prints myself. Um, well, I do from my cover allotments of, uh, art, artist comps, but, um, I will send this to Coffin Comics should they want to use it for a upcoming book or limited something or other, so I always send it to to Brian, and then we shall see. Oh, okay, your favorite is Black Cat. That is cool, huh? um, Stanley. Kara, welcome back. Okay, I'm gonna go to cool gray number one. <laughs> For sure. Am I saying your name correctly? Zian? Is it Zian? So if it'll be a print, yes, that would be through Coffin. <laughs> Lol, what the fan art. I have Wayne. Those are super cool. And he's just doing them for warm-ups, right? I'm sure they're going to become covers or something. They've got to. They're so great. There we go. Something kind of like that. Give her a little bit of shine to her eyes. And then at least gives her some sort of eye focal point. Bruno, hello! Okay, so there we go on that. I think now let's do her lips just for funsies. And then, I don't know, then the room is tied together as far as I'm concerned. And the rest is just adding to it. I usually leave it up to the speaker, but I pronounce it Zane. Okay, I'm gonna try to remember that, Zane. Julie, hello, thank you. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's a, it's a weird change, that's for sure. <laughs> thank you, Ted. He really is Wayne, my God. Red lips time. All right, strong red, <clears throat> garnet, dark red. Bonita. 
Tito Leon. Hello and welcome to the stream. <laughs> Thank you so much, Bruno. All right, here we go. This is the part I need to be very careful with. So I'm working with R46, which is strong red. I'm gonna, um, because the highlight is there, I'm gonna kind of intentionally leave a white spot um, and basically use the paper as a highlight. Hopefully that's gonna work. If I screw it up somehow, that's okay. I can use gouache or acrylic paint. Yeah, hello, Christy Carson. Yes, bleach was used in a very large amount over the holidays. <laughs> bleach and scissors were my friends. So I cut, I cut, you know, my hair was like down to here and I cut it. How long did that color take? Ooh, I think I bleached it three times. No. I bleached it twice, uh, once for about two hours with foil and everything. And so I put foil in and Dan checked the back of my head to make sure I didn't miss any spots. Um, and then I did a bleach bath, you know, so one of those shorter bleach wash things. Um, and uh, yeah, so probably all together about three or four hours of bleach. And then now I'm like sleeping with like coconut oil in my hair cause it's fried. <laughs> and then I did two, I tested out two hair toners, didn't like one of them, decided to use the other, hated it, bleached my hair again. So that was the second bleaching and then used T18 toner. Why thank you, Adam. Can I cut your hair? <laughs> Oh, me too, Chrissy. I'm so, I've been so afraid my whole life of doing that. Um, now I'm not, I just, I'm just trying to like, I'm done with the black dye. White hair grow, grow out under black dye is not a good look. In my opinion, I don't like it on me. Everybody is free to do as they wish. Um, <clears throat> so I've always avoided bleach for the same reason that like, what am I going to do? It's going to be so hard to get the black out. Um, now I'm bleaching with a purpose. <laughs> no, I don't think I'm going to dye it a fun color. That's kind of more something my daughter does. I'm not going to, you know, I kind of want to look a little bit more like their mother. <laughs> so fun colors is what Vienna does. I'm going to kind of stick more to like, you know, black roots and white hair. All right, here we go. I'm going to work on her lips now, so I'm going to be looking down for, for a bit. <laughs> yes, very true. I cannot English. I know, right, Vampy Batty?
Okay, so now I am going to add some of the darker tones into her lips. So right now I'm using Garnet, it's R39. And this will help bring some shadows onto her lips. Okay. Uh, do I watch anime? Not a ton, JMC, but I just, I'm watching through, uh, we're watching Death Note um, and Haikyuu. So I am loving both of those shows. Okay, and now I'm gonna use some R89, which is dark red. Thank you, Charlie. <laughs> I hope I'm not casting a giant shadow. Oh, thank you, Anthony, yay. So this is just getting the final shadow any places where it needs that last little bit of contrast. I haven't really worked on her upper lip yet, so I'll do that afterwards. And I'm going over here to the side because I have a feeling whenever I look this way, I'm casting a shadow on the art and that probably makes it annoying for you guys. Oh, lol, Mr. E. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna try just toner grays. So let's try, cause I'm not really sure what color is going to give it that look. I'm gonna try a few here and just see. go. All right, so toner gray number three seems to be a good starting point. Just like a nice matte color. And then I'm going to add in um, shadows now so that it has that black nylon that basically is just extra contrasted, I think. <sighs> My kiddo said hi to Dawn. Oh, Tom, say hi to your kiddos for me. They've gone, it's their bedtime, so drop all the F-bombs you want. <laughs> Yay, thank you, Tom. Sherlock came inside, so. Oh. Want to close this, I guess? Yeah. Uh, actually, I'll leave it open. We're going down. Ok, 
Okay, and a little bit more dark shadow over here. I haven't seen any of the Cobra Kai's. Are they, are they good? Seems to me like lots of people really like them. Oh, yay, thank you, Terry. Each season is better than the previous. Wow. I could not believe how many classic movie cameos. Oh, that's so great. <laughs> This is pretty dark, so I am playing it safe there. And not going over the, <laughs> the hair in that one place. Hello, Jeff, welcome to the stream. Happy New Year. Oh, muchas gracias, Carlos. You love the Copic markers, yay! See you later, Hanuso. Have a wonderful evening. <laughs> Mage Hand, congratulations on your very first live stream. Whoop, whoop, big applause for you. Yes, it is very difficult to talk for two hours straight, at least at the beginning. And then you get used to it, and then it's not so bad. And then you talk too much, and then you wonder, what the fuck did I just say for two hours or three hours? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Hello, David. But still, massive applause for you. Well done. Oh, it's so good to see you again, Mr. E. Have a wonderful evening, and I, I'll see you on Thursday if you can make it. Love you. <laughs> true, true. I do have a hard time arting for three hours straight. <laughs> You've never seen me art for that long, Steve? Hey, give me a break. I can't that I can't read and draw simultaneously. I wish I could. <laughs> yes, 
Yeah, my hand has been sore today. It's weird. I haven't done a lot of like intricate painting in a, in a minute. And so, yeah. All right, number three needs a refill. Bless, thank you. Seem relatively well behaved, yes. Oh, I'm a, I'm a squeezer as well, mage hand. You know, there's some people that are pressers and they press really hard on the paper and then there's others that are like squeezers. I'm a squeezer. <laughs> And I guess you are too. <laughs> I know, Steve, and I love you for it. And I'm so grateful to you. Twenty twenty one is the year for non shenanigans. No, we're just getting warmed up, Tom. You know? <laughs> Okay, refill complete. <laughs> what happened? You were run over by your fellow mods? Okay, here we go. Toner gray number three. It is now refilled and good to go. Also, you know, I'm kind of relieved that I didn't start with the background because I haven't thought that through like at all. Um, so I'll probably paint the background and her hair with you guys on Thursday <laughs> so that I actually have a minute to think about it. Right now I'm currently working on painting Nokomis and Magu. <laughs> so um, I will be working on the the background probably on the next stream with you guys. Unless I'm going to have to like think fast and do it now. I guess it depends on how fit, fast I go. <laughs> okay, looks like Fanex Salt Lake City is ready to announce guests. What? That's crazy. Oh, thank you, Blast. Did you sh shave the sides? No, it's that I, uh, I've got it pinned back because I cut my own hair and I did this out of I did it on purpose, but also out of desperation because, you know, uh, it'll be easier for me to bleach it short than longer. So I cut it because I wanted to bleach it. Um, I look kind of like a tent though. I have a lot of hair, my hair is very thick, and it sticks out like this. So I've got more than, probably about three quarters of my hair pinned back. <laughs> or I look, I look like a triangle. <laughs> You need a con so bad, you'll go to Salt Lake again. <laughs> I know, I need my flocking. What? Thank you, David. It's a work in progress. I'm still trying to get the last uh, bits of yellow out of my hair. The top is how I wanted it. The bottoms are not because it had more black dye down here. Um, but thank you. Oh, 
Oh, yay. Thank you, Jeff. That is awesome. That makes me so happy. Woo. <laughs> 2021 will be the year for public flocking. Yes. I, um, I'm hoping that's the case, Tom. We will try again. I did, did I, did I say my bottom is not like I want it? <laughs> well, that's true. It isn't. You were a failed flocker. So was I, Tom. <laughs> we could just be the, the flock fails together. And next year we will try again. <laughs> Silver Moon, thank you. Okay, what happened? <laughs> oh, thank you, Christian. Want a little bit more contrast here. Thank you. Yay. Yeah, we're going to, I'm not going to make it for taking down the Christmas decorations until this weekend. So probably on Saturday, I'm going to pack up the decorations. Is, are, are most of you already packed up? Oh, it's Three Kings tomorrow. I completely forgot about that. So Christmas is officially over for you guys tomorrow. Okay. Good night, Christian. Take care. Have a wonderful week. Happy 2021. All right, guys. Momentary short break. BRB. Here we go. I will put... This here with Lady Death upside down concession. All right, Lady Death is poking her head up like this. BRB.
I know you're gonna hear my shoes. My, my uh, booties that I bought are way too big for me and I just squeak around the house. <laughs> that angle made it look like um, Lady Death was holding the sign, nice. Okay. Now it's time to add the <clears throat> No booties are too big. My little slippers are too big though. Brandy, happy new year, love. Dan was hoping you would be here when um he would be here when you came on, but he's not here. Um <laughs> He wants you to know how grateful he is for the cookies. He loved them, ate probably 85% of them, just finished them the other day, and they kept us so happy all holiday long. Thank you so much. <laughs> what the fan art, have a good one. Thank you so much for stopping by. It's always great to have you. Enjoy the rest of your week. And if you're on my email list, a new email is coming out tomorrow. Whoop, whoop. We enjoyed them so much, Brandy. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts for all the hard work you did on those. That was intense. Yes, Health Nut Dan ate 85% of them. That is exactly what happened. Oh yes, Dan is also with you now, Brandy. He's, he's left me for you. <laughs> they wouldn't have survived the first night. <laughs> All right, so now I'm using toner gray number 10. He can roll to the gym. So I am actually, truth be told, I am undecided if I'm going to keep these scrolly things here on her boobs. Uh, if any of you feel like weighing in on that, let me know. James Whalen, happy 2021. Welcome to the stream. It's great to have you here. <laughs> Keep. You like the scrolly boobs. Okay. The consensus is keep. Thank you. Now you're really out. Okay. <laughs> See you later, what the fan art. <laughs> scrolly boobs for the win. Tom has spoken. Siamok says keep. Okay. Thank you all for weighing in. I appreciate it. <laughs> Stephanie, hello. Happy 2021. Great to have you here. James Rodriguez, welcome to the stream. Happy New Year. <laughs> yeah, pretty much, Juan. There's some giant boobies. <laughs> I'm I'm always
always drawing Lady Death with too small a chest and a little bit too scrawny than I'm supposed to. So I'm really working on uh, trying to give Lady Death more of the voluptuous um, boobage that she's supposed to have. <laughs> Just the mention of cookies has you gaining weight. <laughs> I look different with blonde hair. Yeah, I really do, Ted. It is weirding me out, something fierce. But I'm sure I will get used to it over time. Thank you, Roy. Yes. Gravity is winning on Lady Death. <laughs> she keeps her phone and her purse <laughs> in her boobs. Yes, yeah, something like that. <laughs> True, safety matters, especially when you're a warrior and you've got to fight. I'm telling you, you need that extra padding. When all else fails, just bump someone with your boobs. <laughs> Mace spare key, yeah. And I'll probably give these little beads, at least in some of them, they're gonna have a little shine to them. So I'll just take like either a really thin paintbrush or a, um, sakura jelly roll and um put a little shine dot on some of these beads like that <laughs> exactly <laughs> so true vampy betty Sure, Wayne. <laughs> the CW show Crazy Ex-Girlfriend has a musical number called Heavy Boobs. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, and now I'm going to put the beads on this one. That's so great, Lana. Thank you, Peter. That means a ton. Watercolor paper is harder to shade with Copic on, but it's more forgiving, so that's nice. Uh, most other papers, you have to like do all the shading really fast, and 
nail it the first time, but with watercolor paper, you can kind of go back and go over things and it doesn't leave this really weird water stain with Copic marker. So it is a little easier. Gregory, good evening and happy new year to you too. See you later, Ted. Have a wonderful night. Sleep well and I'll catch you later. It really makes her pop off the page. Woo, that's so awesome, Peter. Thank you. So I'm going for like these leaves and scrolly bits, <clears throat> excuse me, um, to have a little bit of like a velvet look so they don't have any shine. It's just flat black, right? I'm gonna give this cloth here some sort of shine, I think, or maybe make it look like satin, perhaps. And then with all the velour bits and then the soft sort of mesh nylon-y look, it should give a few um, different textures and I'm hoping add a little bit of visual interest to the piece. I know, I don't think you can vampy batty. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Morena. No, Moreno. I'm sorry. Kadiro, welcome to the stream. Pork chops. Oh, that sounds yummy. Oh, Robert, did you get the email where I uh, sent you tracking? And yay, I'm glad you're on here. You did, okay, excellent. I hope it reaches you safely. I apologize in advance, it's probably gonna take you a minute to get the package open, but I don't anticipate any damage on the book, let's put it that way. <laughs> Thank you, Daniel. That is correct, David. 
You had a flamethrower grilled burger. That sounds delicious. Ooh, thank you, cat. Yay. We're in phase two now. I sort of jumped the gun and uh, bleached it myself. Um, and it was fun. It was my holiday project along with everyone's commissions that I owe. <laughs> Okay, almost done on the little dots. Doesn't seem like you guys can see the dots that I'm doing, unfortunately. Aw, thank you, Rob. All right, final little bit here, and then we'll move on to doing the shading on the boobage area. And then she'll pretty much be finished and it'll be time to start planning out the background and decide what I'm going to do. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> That's so sweet, David. Thank you. Well, we'll have to make sure I don't screw it up between now and finish time. <laughs> Thank you, Roy. You see boobies. Good, Tom. You're looking in the right place then. <laughs> you don't mind the extra packaging. Well, that's good. That is definitely what happened, Matthew. <laughs> Much bleach. Uh, then toners. Then I tried like purple shampoo. <laughs> it was a little bit traumatic, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> a blind man could see them boobies. <laughs> yeah, they're a little big. Labris, thank you so much for getting the drawn to art book. It means a ton. True, Tom. My avoiding only lasts so long. Oh, hello, cat's daughter. I hope you've had a great start to your year. Yes, I do have a new art book hitting Kickstarter soon, Robert. Good memory. That's actually what I'm working on this week and next week is getting the art book ready for final design and all of that. And I've got a few emails out for pricing quotes and it's happening. There we go. Okay, the dots are done. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. I suppose that's a good thing. Oh, really, Zane? Yay! That makes me so happy. Thank you all so much for being excited about it and supporting it, even just in your, in your comments right now. It really means a lot. I'm so grateful to you guys. Oh, that's funny, Kara. Thank you, really tall.
There will be much squeakiness. Twenty two minutes. Okay, thank you, Philip. I'm not going to paint around the hair. It's just annoying. I will paint over the hair with white. Okay, now I'm switching to toner gray number five. <laughs> I'll be eating a lot of ramen. Oh no, Steve, that makes me so sad. That's like heartbreaking. Ah. <laughs> oh really, Lana? Oh, that's hilarious. I have a kitty cat trying to smack my hand. the ramen diet 2021 I literally went on a ramen diet during the break not because I couldn't afford anything else or that there was no other food it's because I freaking love my ramen so much and I just declared that I could have ramen all Christmas break long whether I deserved it or not it was glorious Is Sherlock going to do a guest appearance? You know, I can go check and see if he's around. Oh, yay. Thank you, Matthew. Oh, I know. The spicy ramen is so good. And I, I put a little dollop of sour cream in it, so it makes it kind of creamy and spicy makes it a little bit easier for me to handle the spice, which is crazy. I have pretty decent spice tolerance, but man, the spicy ramen I get is really spicy. Oh, sorry, vampy baddie. Thank you, Joseph. All right, I do want this side to be a little bit darker still. Because I do want the, the sheer parts up at the top to really stand out. If I end up making it so that we can't see some of the black designs, I can always maybe give them a little, a little touch with gold or something. Excellent, Adam. That is what I'm hoping for. That vibe. Your sister that loves spicy food actually couldn't finish the spicy noodle bowl. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, Dan didn't outlaw them at all, Philip. No, I still have them. I have definitely eaten some. They are spicy. I'm actually pleased with the amount of spice. They're very good. <laughs> Thank you so much for them, Philip. You're such a sweetheart. Okay, let's get T6 for a little bit more dark shadow. 
See you later, Matthew. Have a wonderful evening. Or no, is it, it's daytime for you? Um, catch you on the next stream and I'll be sending out my email tomorrow. You grab the box of them, yes. That is also what we did. <laughs> All right, I think it's starting to get a decent amount of depth. That's sort of where I was going with this. Hello, Felipe, welcome to the stream. Uh, Robert, I have three art books currently. Um, they're all on my website, right? Drawn Womanly Wiles. Yes, I have three art books. And then I'm working on the fourth, which is the Divinica art book. Thank you, Wayne. Just need a little bit of a darker shadow under her boobs. Get a bit more contrast going on. There we go. Uno mas booby. Let's see if we can get it done um, before it's time to go. <laughs> Oh my God, <laughs> Juan, that's hilarious. Oh my, the mental picture of that is pretty aggressive. <laughs> oh, that's funny. It would be a shortbread. Would stop throttling the stream. Oh, are, am I getting some stream trouble there, Joseph? <laughs> Steve, you're the best. Thank you, Vampy Batty. It is it is difficult with uh, with Facebook sometimes to for anybody to see my work, but I just want to thank all of you that do share the, the videos that you comment on, um, stuff. I really appreciate it. You know, the, every, the algorithms are constantly changing and it generally feels like it never changes for the better. So the fact that you're there on Facebook or whatever, please, uh, if you can, like your comments make it show up better, your sharing it makes it show up better. You guys are the best. Oh, so the, the connection is kind of shitty on Facebook? Bummer. Sorry, everyone. There we go, something kind of like that. Yes, I'm dual streaming. <laughs> Ray Cruz, hello, Jeff Swan, thank you. Yes, I'm, I'm streaming in two places, so if it seems like I'm responding to a comment that you didn't see, depending on which platform you're on, I'm probably talking to someone on the other platform. <laughs> okay, let's see who all is live. I go both ways. Yes, I do. <laughs> all right, I, let's see who is live. Michael De Nicola is live. 
Sometimes that's just Dawn. Yeah, you never know. <laughs> and uh, Daria Askinova, let's see. Oh, wow. That is really cool. I have the Android 18 look. Oh no, are things timing out again? Uh, Felipe, yes, I'm married with three kids. <laughs> okay, so let's get a, a um, raid going. Raid Daria Aksenova Art. Let's see if that works. Invalid username, because I cannot spell. Raid Daria Aksenova Art. Oh, it's got a follower and subscriber only chat. Oh well. Uh, we might have to cancel it because can't you find a channel? I'm going to need to cancel that one because it's a, it's a sub only chat. Well, I guess we can give it a shot. It'll be like me raiding. Um, it'll be like when I raided a dead channel, if we can't talk. <laughs> Thank you, Juan. I love you. Thank you everyone on Facebook and on Twitch. You guys are the best. I really appreciate the shares on Facebook and the comments. I'm sorry that the connections seem to be a little glitchy on Facebook. It's great to be back. I've missed you guys so much. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow via my email. If you are subscribed to my email list, remember it's free. Um, and on streaming again to wrap this one up and start on Vampirella, hopefully, um, on Tuesday. And really tall, let us, will you let us know if Brian decides to use this? Yes, of course, I will definitely let you know. Sometimes I don't know though, and it's just like, surprise! <laughs> I just send him the image. Okay, we better go raid. I love you all, goodbye!